All right, what's good? Today, we are talking about how to use a foam roller. All right, now there's different types of foam rollers. There's different um, types of like hardness to the foam roller. Um, this one's hollow. It has this little hard piece in it. Some come with just this piece right here, but this one has like little massage ridges and whatnot. And it's pretty dense. That's like a hard squeeze to get that. You can see my arm muscle working. That's kind of like a hard squeeze. And then you have this little spot right here. So depending on your hardness of the foam roller, that's how you're gonna get the most out of it. I like to use the harder foam rollers when I'm more loose and I'll use a softer foam roller when I'm um, when I'm more tight, all right? So we're gonna talk about how we can loosen up our legs, how we can loosen up our shoulders and how we can loosen up our back, all right? So it's important to understand that if, let's say my foot is sore, that it's usually not my foot that I need to focus on, but it's probably something in here. Maybe it's my glute, maybe it's my my uh, hamstring or quads, maybe it's my calves, right? So we want to loosen up our whole leg, and then we'll find relief. We'll find relief in other parts of our body. So, for example, a lot of times if your lower back is hurting, it's usually uh, an effect of your quads, your glutes, or your hamstrings being tight. All right, so. Just because I'm foam rolling on my leg doesn't mean that my leg is getting the benefit of it. But what I want to do right now is hop on this foam roller. I, I don't want to be straight like this, and I don't want to be completely to the side like this at this time. I want to be kind of right, right on that glute muscle. And what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure, complete pressure. I'm trying to find where that sore spot is where the tight spot is, and I'm just gonna relax into the pressure on it, just like that, all right? And then I can do little rolls back and forth, but I wanna go slow, I don't wanna be fast. I wanna be slow and measured. I'm trying to find where it's tight and where it's sore, all right? So by loosening my glutes, this is loosening my glutes, that's gonna help uh, loosen my lower back as well as my quads and my hamstrings. All right, so we can do this on both sides. This one's a good one. Or we can also put our foot over so we can have more leverage to roll. And this way we can roll out kind of like our whole side right here. We can go up even further and roll that thing out. All right, so obviously we'd wanna do that on both sides. Now let's talk about our back. We can put the foam roller right here if we put our arms back, this is actually a good way to get release for your back. Let's see. And you can push the foam roller this way while you're leaning back. That will help loosen your back and kind of bring it out. So let's go this way. This is an angle right here. Yeah, so we're pushing this right into our back, adding pressure downward as well. All right, and then we can also just simply roll on our back. We can simply get on the foam roller, lift up our glutes off the floor, and just roll on the back area. All right, once again, we want to add pressure. We want to make sure we're loose. We want to hit every single spot. I'm getting a lot of relief right now from this. This is good. We want to make sure we're not directly on our, our spine, though. We don't want to be directly on our spine. But this is going to roll out the shoulders. This feels great. Ah, oh, feels amazing. Oh. All right, so that's going to be covering, like, loosening up our, our lower back and our back. All right, now we're going to talk about, like, really going into our shoulders. Um, this is a great one for this part of your shoulders and your neck, which tends to get tight. I'm gonna put this foam roller here and we're gonna lean our head right in there. So right in that little crevice between our shoulder and our neck. And we're gonna add some downward pressure. So we're pushing our body down and we're just laying on it. That's tight. All right, so on this one, I wouldn't roll, but I'll allow the pressure to just sit here for as long as I can handle. All right, and when I say as long as I can handle, I mean like at least 30 seconds. Um, the longer you can go, obviously the better. 
but oh, we're adding a lot of pressure in there. Whew. That's gonna loosen up my shoulders. That's gonna loosen up my neck. Whew. And then let's switch to the other side. So right here, we're going right in that crevice and then we're leveraging ourselves. So my legs are up and I'm leveraging myself and I'm pushing into the ground, pushing right into that foam roller in my shoulder area. Ah. All right, so we, make sure, we wanna make sure we're relaxing when we are rolling and whenever we're stretching, we wanna relax. We don't wanna be tight, we don't wanna be like, we don't wanna do that. We wanna be nice, relaxed and tight, make sure we're breathing. Breathe through the pain, settle into that that feeling of of pressure. And actually, when I say pain, it shouldn't really be painful as much as it should be sensational. You should feel a sensation of stretching, but you shouldn't feel like, you know, you're about to burst or rip or anything like that. All right. So that's going to basically cover, you know, this part of our shoulders and our neck and our back. You can also roll out on your arm. I never really roll out on my arm, but you could just, you know, kind of roll out this shoulder. It's like a good little massage. But I think in my personal opinion, I mean, it's effective, but I wouldn't say it's extremely effective. Uh, another thing you can do is like kind of roll on this muscle that's right here from your back and your shoulder, but we basically already did that while we were on our back. All right, now we'll cover uh, the rest of our leg. Mostly it's gonna be our IT band that we wanna stretch out or roll out. So we can use, you know, the same type of principle. We can turn on top of the foam roller using our leg. Let's go from this angle. And we're on top of our quad right here. So we're loosening up this quad. We're just gonna roll on the quad. Rolling on the quad, rolling on the quad. Oh. Yeah, and so some good areas to get would be kind of like this outer side of the quad as well as this muscle that's right in here, right above the knee. You could also roll like this. So actually you're gonna put your foot here if this bottom area is really tight and you're gonna lift yourself up and you're gonna add some downward pressure onto your knee and you're just gonna roll, roll out this area. Not on the bone, but on the muscle. I'm gonna roll that out. <laughs> I need to use my foam roller more. But yeah, I'm gonna roll that out. All right, so that basically covers uh, some stretches that you can do um, for your shoulders, your back, and your legs. And here's a bonus tip right here. If you have a lacrosse ball, or if you have a golf ball, or something that's hard, like this is a hard ball, you can roll out your foot. So it's like the same thing like a foam roller. And if you're really loose in your feet, you should eventually be able to balance and put all your weight on it and stand on the foam roller or stand on the ball without feeling pain. All right, like this foot is less tight. It's a little bit more, or more tight, so it's a little bit more painful for me, but you should be able to get to this point. All right, all those nice little release in the foot. All right, and you can roll out your foot this way as well. All right, hope that helps. Stay loose, Hoopers. Let's get it.